Hey there, I'm Frances O'Rourke Dow, author of How to Build a Story or The Big What If. I'm also the author of over 20 books for kids, so clearly I like to write. And today I want to share with you one of my favorite tools from my writer's toolkit, my notebook. I carry a little notebook with me wherever I go. I, sometimes it's in my back pocket, sometimes it's in my bag, but I love to take notes on the things I see around me. And I recommend you do the same. One of the best reasons to carry a writer's notebook with you is it gets you in the habit of paying attention to the world around you. There's all kinds of things you can use your writer's notebook for. First of all, it's just to make observations. And this is especially great when you're bored and you're just looking around you. You're in some place, say your doctor's waiting room. Take notes on the people you see, describe them. And here is a great way to get in the habit of using specific details. Specific details are at the heart of good writing. So you're waiting for your doctor's appointment, you're looking around the room and there's a kid in the corner looking bored. So you take a note, you write kid in corner looking bored, but take it another step. What about him makes you think he's bored? Is it the fact that he's just staring at his phone but not actually scrolling or tapping on the screen? Uh, does he look like he might be about to fall asleep? Is he holding his phone like a shield, like he wants to be left alone, which means maybe he's not bored, he's scared. Write down these details. Take notes on the world around you. A notebook is also great for keeping a list. I love list making. You can have running lists in your notebook, for instance. You can have a list of possible character names for future stories. You can make a list of your favorite words and your least favorite words. Make a list in which you list all the things you love about Tuesday and all the things you can't stand about Thursday. Uh, comparing and contrasting is always fun. Make a list of five things about your house or in your house that smell really, really good and five things that, well, kind of smell weird right? Make a list. Obviously, you can use your writer's notebook for keeping track of your great ideas for stories, poems, screenplays, whatever it is you're in the mood to write. Now, you might think, I just had a great idea. It's so good. I'm going to remember it for all time. Maybe you will, but maybe you won't. And that's why you write it down. But here's the next thing I want you to do. Write down your mediocre ideas. We have ideas for stories all the time and we, that we reject almost immediately. Yeah, I'm not writing a story about my dog going to Mars. Not interested, not going to do it. But write that idea down anyway. Because what I have found in my lifetime as a writer is sometimes great ideas are born out of just so-so ideas. You don't know where a mediocre idea is going to lead. Write it down. Another great thing is to write down questions that you don't necessarily have to answer. They're questions that make you think, that make you wonder, that make you imagine. I love what if questions. What if uh, my parents moved away and didn't tell me they were moving? Right? Write that down. We ask ourselves what if questions all the time. And those questions can often lead to stories. And in fact, in how to build a story, I talk about that, how you can start a story by asking a what if question and flipping it into a statement so that what if my parents moved away and didn't tell me they were going becomes one day my parents moved, but they didn't mention to me they were moving. From there, a story is born. I also love asking wondering questions. I wonder why some animals walk and other animals fly. That's a poem. Um, or it could be a poem, right? Because there's a, a scientific answer to that question, but there's also an imaginative answer to that question. Write down I wonder questions. I wonder if there's someone on this planet who looks just like me but who behaves exactly the opposite of the way I behave. Don't have to answer that question, but you might find yourself thinking about it. And again, you might find yourself feeling the need to explore it. Um, I love questions that aren't on test. I love questions you don't have to answer. And I love questions that get you thinking, wondering, and imagining. Write those questions down in your notebook. Make lists. Keep a list of your ideas. Observe. A writer's notebook is one of the best tools you can have as a writer. And now, in case you're all excited about 
keeping a writer's notebook, but don't have an extra notebook around the house and aren't going out to the drugstore anytime soon to buy one, I'm going to show you how to make one. Okay, you're going to start with a blank sheet of paper, and the first thing you want to do is fold it in half widthwise. And you want to try to keep those edges as neat as you can. Open it up and then fold each edge side to the middle like this. All right. And then you want to kind of make a good crease. Come back out, right? You're going to kind of fold it like this so that you have a W. From that point, pull it back out and fold it lengthwise. Again, trying to keep make those corners meet. Make a crease. Now, pull it out. Fold it in half again, like that. And now is where you're going to need a pair of scissors. And with the scissors, you're going to cut. And you see where I'm cutting? It's on where the fold is, right? Not the other side. And you're going to cut to the center. Right. So that's, that's where that cut is, right? So then you're going to open it up. You're going to fold it one more time, lengthwise. Bring it up like this, take these edges and push in. All right, and then you're gonna fold these pages, these parts together, and guess what? You got a little notebook. Sometimes what I like to do, actually one of the things I like to do is I will sew along here because I have a sewing machine. And if, but if you don't, if you want to, you can staple right along the spine, unfold, just to help it hold together, right? And there you go. And another thing that I like to do that I think is fun is I like to decorate my covers. And then I start writing. <laughs>